Many of the people here in the world, when you ask them, what's, what's your plan in life? What's the purpose? Their answer would be to be successful, to be a professional, to make money, to buy a nice house in Great Neck, you know, to have a nice car, to go on vacation two or three times a year, to have children, to dress well, to be healthy, you know, to be loved by people, to be popular, to be a movie star, to be a professor, everyone with his dream. More or less, I think I cover what people like, no? Most of the people wants to be rich. Why? In their mind, being rich will make me happy. Although it's been proven millions of times that money never bring happiness, still, almost every person still thinks that that's what's going to make him happy. But it's not really true. Because I'll give you an example. If a person is rich all his life, and he only buy expensive things, the most expensive car, the most expensive jewelry, clothes, everything, the most expensive in the world, all his life, none of it ever brings him happiness. It's convenience, that's it. A poor person that never can afford anything, he only buys clothes in a second-hand store, it's all used, $10, $5, $20 a suit, because he can never afford to buy a suit in a store. Imagine if one time he goes to the store and he gets a suit that is almost brand new, worth maybe a few hundred dollars, and he got it for twenty dollars. He comes home all week, he's happy. So a poor person can reach higher happiness than a very wealthy person. So we see that the the wealth doesn't come necessarily the, the happiness doesn't come really from the wealth. It comes from the feeling of the mind. It's not necessarily the money. For instance, some people are artists. It will make them very happy that their picture will be in the best gallery, even if they won't make a penny. Some people want to show how great they play basketball. They're willing to play in the NBA for free all their life, without a salary, just to be famous, even without being rich. Why? That's what makes him happy, to show that he's very talented. Same thing, musicians, many other examples I can give you. They ask Bill Gates, you're the right person to ask this question. Does money bring happiness? He actually got angry. That was in a live interview in Israel on prime time television. He said, absolutely not. It only brings convenience, no happiness whatsoever. There's a whole uh, line of chairs right here, over there. You can have a seat here. So Bill Gates answered the mystery that all the people dream about becoming rich. He answered, no, it's not going to bring us any happiness. What will make a person happy? Things that will make his soul happy. If the soul will be happy, then the person will be happy. If the soul will be upset, nothing can make a person happy. It's all spiritual feeling. Spirituality can make you happy, or, or sad, but that's it. Rest of the things, aggravation, pain, all these things that happens when it comes to materialistic things, it's all temporary anyway. Even if you lose a hundred dollars on the street, just fell from you, you're upset for a minute or two, and you move on with your life. You're not going to sit and cry forever. Even when someone dies, you're upset for a month or two, and you move on with your life. You know, even if you got fired, so you're upset for a week, and you move on with your life. Even you win the lottery, you're happy for a month or two or three, and you move on with your life. Even you meet the most beautiful woman in the world, and you got married to her. Six months later, you don't feel anything special anymore. You bought the nicest mansion in Beverly Hills. You're very happy for six months, and you move on with your life. It does not bring you any happiness. But spiritual things, since it's spirituality, it's nothing to do with materialism, they are always eternal. It's all eternity. And it's all connected to the soul, and the soul, the soul of the human being, is actually a part of God himself. It's a spark from God. That's why he will never die. That's why it's not limited, not to time, not to sounds, not to anything. The soul has no limitation. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.